Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tamara Renee. If you are new, welcome. As you can see by the title of this video, I am here to give you guys my updated makeup routine. You guys have been on me for the longest time and I'm finally here to give it to you guys to show you guys what I've been using. So these products, they aren't they aren't new on the market, but they're new in my little collection. And I've noticed a huge difference in my makeup as you guys can see. I've noticed that you guys have noticed it whenever I post pictures on like Instagram and Twitter, y'all really do come for me. So I'm here to deliver. So this makeup look is like my go-to. This is what I always do. The only thing that's different in like pictures and stuff that you guys may notice is the eyeshadow, but everything else stays the same. The application, the technique, the products, the routine of like how I apply my products, it's the same for everything. Like every picture you have seen, the makeup, what you see here in today's video is the same that I do all the time. Some days I may go heavy with the highlighting or sometimes I may go heavy with the bronzing, but y'all, this is it. I will have everything in the description box below. So check that out. You only gotta ask no questions because it'll be in the description box below. I'm so sorry for keeping you guys waiting, but it is finally here. So if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this flawless bomb makeup look, then keep on watching. My face is freshly washed and moisturized and now we're just gonna get right into this makeup look. Um, to start, I'm gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I'm not going back to not using primer. I've heard so many good things about this primer right here. So I went ahead and I bought the smaller one because it's cheaper. Because I was like, I don't wanna spend um, like 40 bucks on a primer and I end up not liking it. So I just wanted to go in with the small one to test it and then make my decision from there. You guys, I am not going back to not using primer. Ever since I added this into my makeup routine, I've noticed a huge difference in my makeup. So I went ahead and I bought the bigger one, but of course, still got some left in here. So I'm gonna go in with that. Now I'm gonna go in with my brows. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I'm going to use this angled brush, this eyebrow angled brush that I got from NYX, and I'm going to do my brows. And I'm going to clean up with my LA Girl Fawn Concealer right here with um, just a random angled brush to clean up.
next I'm gonna go in with my foundation and like I said I did switch up my products so I started using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I'm in the shade Chai I started using this a couple months ago and again a huge improvement in my overall makeup look this shade right here is perfect it, it matches me so well and I love this foundation so much you guys know me I remember telling y'all I'm not the kind of person that likes to branch off and try different things but I was in a state where I had no choice but to try something different so what is going on my nose okay, so I'm gonna go in with this beauty blender it is from Morphe it is the highlight and contour beauty sponge and I like it because it has this edge can you see it has that pointed edge right here so that's the part i use to you know when i'm doing my highlight under my eye and it is just bomb but i use the bottom part to blend out my foundation Moving on to eyeshadow, I know a lot of people want to know like what brown eyeshadow I use. Some people think I use like a specific brown shadow, but that's not the case. Sometimes I go in with my bronzer and like I apply it on the crease to give the look as if I'm wearing eyeshadow, but I'm not. Or um, I just have like random palettes that have like a nice brown in it that I use. But my go-to, go-to, because you guys know I love my neutral looks, is the Morphe 3502 palette. As you can see, like, there are a lot of browns to choose from. So, um, I don't know what color, no, I know what color we're going to use. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. That shade right there. And I'm going to go in with this um, Morphe brush. And this is the M433. And I'm going to pat this color all over my lids. Let me just make sure that the foundation is blended out. I'm going to highlight and for concealers I went ahead and I got the Too Faced concealers. I picked up the shade Butterscotch and Warm Sand and these two serve as my LA Girl Fawn and my LA Girl Creamy Beige. So I apply Butterscotch first then I go in with Warm Sand. I actually bought Warm Sand first and then I would apply like two layers of it but I'm like I uh, kind of want the shade of Fawn because I like the look under my eyes, like the color under my eyes when I used the LA Girl. So I went back to Sephora and purchased butterscotch. And I'm just going to apply this under my eyes, chin, above my lip, just a little on the bridge of my nose, and my forehead. And I only apply butterscotch on my forehead. I don't uh, apply warm sand because it's just too bright. And I don't want that. 
I'm gonna go in with the bottom of my beauty blender and blend it out. I start blending out my chin first, my upper lip, my forehead. And when I'm blending out my forehead, I like to use the bottom of the beauty blender where my foundation is. And that kind of like helps to blend the concealer out some more on my forehead because I don't like that harsh look. And then I'm gonna go and blend under my eye. And I like to alternate because I want the same amount of product to be evenly layered under my eye. I'm gonna take that sharp part and just like carve that area where the my shadow is. You have seen me do this in my other videos, so you guys know. And then for the inner part, I like to use the butt of the beauty blender again to help blend out the concealer on my nose where my foundation is just gives it a flawless finish we are almost done with the base so before i go with warm sand i'm gonna prepare my setting powders because i have to bake immediately to prevent creasing okay so now i'm gonna go in with warm sand and i am only going to apply warm sand under my eyes because i want that bright highlight only under my eyes. So while I'm doing this, let me tell you guys something about baking powders. So I think it was like last year, I really wanted to try the Laura Mercier um, setting powder, the translucent one, but I wasn't too sure. I ended up buying it, but I did not use it at all. And I just brought it back and I'm like, you know what? I can't be bothered. So let me just continue using my Sasha Buttercup. Y'all know how much I love my Sasha Buttercup, okay? Over the summer, I decided to give in. Around the same time I bought these um, concealers and I bought the Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent. And I would only apply it under my eyes. I wouldn't apply it anywhere else that I've highlighted. And then I would continue with my Sasha Buttercup for um, like the rest of my face where I've highlighted. And then I would apply just a bit of that Sasha Buttercup on top. The reason why I'm talking now is because when I'm baking, I have to focus and move fast. <laughs> I would go in with the Sasha Buttercup on top. So it just gives it, it helps to give that nice bright yellow under eye. A couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, they've um, launched a new shade called honey and i am so happy i got my hands on it oh my gosh it is the perfect color especially for my black girls still use sasha don't get me wrong still use sasha because i need i need her then using the butt of the foundation sorry the butt of the um beauty blender i'm going in with honey Like, do you see that? Do you guys see that? Now I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Buttercup. Dust that, I'm gonna apply it on top. And it just gives it that extra lift that I need. Another thing that I've noticed, usually when I'm doing this, like in my older videos, you guys would see, I used to use like a makeup wedge to um, apply my powder. Now I use the one and only beauty blender 
to do that and I think because of it being a being a bit damp it helps with allowing the powder to melt into my skin not that the the makeup wedge wasn't doing that but I used to apply a lot and I still apply a lot of powder don't judge me <laughs> but I'm oily in these areas and it's my makeup creases so I have to go in with a lot of powder but you apply what you need to apply you ain't gotta copy me but if you have the same problem I do then girl apply the amount of layers you need guys do you see this oh my gosh like I surprise myself every time I do my makeup I've baked long enough I am going to dust it away and I'm gonna go in with this setting brush from real techniques and I'm just gonna dust this powder away set the rest of my face but before I do you guys know I used to use the MAC powder I forgot the name of it it's been so long because I don't use it anymore I finally got my hands on the Sephora micro smooth powder I'm in the shade mahogany I've noticed a huge difference again here we go again huge difference with my makeup when I apply this powder on my face it gives me the perfect color I think the the MAC one was a bit too deep for me but I still made it work but um this powder right here has changed it for me and I'm not going back so I'm gonna go in with this powder brush from real techniques and I'm just going to apply that on my face I apply this on top of the highlighted area so it just gives it that seamless finish and then I'm going to go in with a smaller powder brush and press this product into my skin like what I do. Doing makeup is not hard. It is so much fun. I used to be, I was, I've been doing makeup for, I think I was like 17 or 18, 17 or 18. And I once did not know how to get like the perfect, you know, highlight. I didn't know how to highlight properly. I didn't know what baking was like i didn't know any of that legit i would just put on my foundation set my face with a powder mascara eyeliner glue on my lashes and go with my lip gloss and i was good to go but of course as i got older wanting to try different things and really wanting to get into makeup youtube became my best friend like i used to sit on youtube and watch videos day and night purchase products and stuff and here we are today now i'm on youtube doing my makeup hmm. now it's time to bronze and warm this face up bring it back to life now you guys know how much i love my fenty sunstalker bronzer but once i got my hands on this product right here the bronzer this one right here from morphe i'm in the shade trailblazer And I'm going to make sure that before, like before hitting pan, make sure to get a next one and real because I can't go without this bronzer. This bronzer is it. It is the perfect shade of like brown, and it it's it's like a warm brown. The Fenty I the Fenty I used to use, I think it's Coconati. It's more of a cool brown. So I had to apply, you know, like a lot of blush to bring, you know, the warmth back into my face. But this bronzer is amazing. And I love bronzer. I love, love bronzing my face. You guys have noticed a difference. Of course, I saw the difference. And 
I keep getting messages literally every day for a video and here we are this video would have been up sooner but um like I said in like the previous video where I did my makeup I was waiting for a few things to come in the mail and I didn't want to do the makeup look with all those products so again if I'm not wearing eyeshadow like this this is what I would go in with my bronzer sometimes I apply it all over my lid I think in the last video I applied it all over my lid or did I apply it in the crease well whatever whether it's the crease or all over my lid if I don't feel like eyeshadow I just apply some of this bronzer and it gives the effect of an eyeshadow look when I'm not wearing eyeshadow. Next, I'm going in with my blush. This product is the same format from MAC. I'm going to highlight. I'm going in with the Milani Baked Highlighter. I'm in the shade 140. Well, that's the shade I use. I'm going with this fan brush. Okay, so before I go in with my setting spray, I'm going to go in with that same eyeshadow that I used on my lids and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line. this bad boy right here you guys seen this in previous makeup videos um this is a really really good eyeliner unfortunately i don't know if you can purchase this online try amazon um i bought this at a cosmetics warehouse and it's from the brand very v-e-r-r-i Now for falsies, y'all keep asking me and I keep telling y'all my 25 mm lashes from AliExpress. I will link it below as I always do. I am using number two, EO2. The link will be below so you guys can go check out that vendor and see like the other styles of lashes they have. Or you can legit just go on AliExpress.com, go in that search bar and just type in 25 mm lashes and I'll tell you this right now, it's gonna be overwhelming because you're gonna see so many different beautiful styles and you're not gonna know which one you want. You guys, it was so hard to apply the left lash, so I had to do it off camera. I'm gonna go in with my Milani highlighter and I'm just going to apply some of my tear ducts. Now we can finally move on to my favorite part which is lips. So you guys know how much I love me a nice nude lip combo. Y'all know this already. And I think I've been on the hunt for a proper nude lip combo for me. And I finally found it. Well, actually two. So the first um, like set, which is my go-to, go-to, like my absolute go-to. I don't have the products here, but it is my Makeup Forever Limitless Brown Pencil. 
and then I go in with MAC cork pencil and fill in the lips with that and then I go in with my ABH matte nude lipstick the shade is called nude and then I apply myth um, lip gloss from MAC on top and it just seals everything in for me it is a beautiful combo so beautiful I think I've used it in previous videos and in my like recent you know makeup video that was the combo that I used but for today I'm using something else so this is the new combo that I've been using lately I know it's a lot of lip products but it is what it is and I get what I what I want you know <laughs> um it is from the KKW beauty line so I'm gonna sharpen this pencil first I'm gonna go in with the nude three i'm going to outline my lips with that shade These lip liners are so creamy and nice. Like, I'm so happy I got my hands on it. So, the next one I'm gonna go in with is Nude 2.5. I'm kind of like filling in my lips just a tad bit with it. I just have a thing for using two liners for my combos. But this is just helping to blend in that darker one. You don't have to, but this is what I do. <laughs> so now for lipsticks, I got two shades right here. I got them in Nude 2 and Nude 2.5. I'm going to apply Nude 2, which is a lighter color first. So now I'm going to go in with nude 2.5 on the top nude 2 is like the base of 2.5 for me and now for gloss I'm going in with nude 2.5 know my absolute favorite nude lip combo was the one I mentioned earlier Mac actually discontinued their myth lip gloss and when I found out I was so heartbroken so I made sure like as soon as I found out I made sure I went ham with backups so I got backups to last me a good while but what I wanted in between was um, to find a gloss that kind of like reminds me of myth so I think I kind of nailed it for me <laughs> With Nude 2.5, it does remind me of Myth. It does give me the look that I want. But this whole this whole combo I did today is what I've been using lately. And I've been getting questioned about it. So this is it. All right, you guys. So this is the final look. I went ahead and I changed. Um, just in case someone asks, this top is from, it's actually a bodysuit, it's from Fashion Nova. Do you guys see these feathers? It is the cutest thing ever. It is a bit messy because I have like feathers all over my floor. Um, my earrings are from Miss Lola. I've had them for a while. And my watch, because I always get asked about my watch, it's from Michael Kors. I think the light is too bright. Yeah, Michael Kors. I got this earlier in the year and I love it so much. So yeah, this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have everything in the description box below. So y'all ain't gonna ask no questions. Check the description box because it will be there for you. Um, I hope you guys learned like a thing or two, maybe wanna take a product or whatever and add it to your makeup routine so you can achieve a flawless look like this. But I really enjoyed filming this video for you guys. And I just love this whole look, everything. Like, this is a vibe. So, so drop your comments below tell me what you guys think give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already again everything will be in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye